Alright Zerg friends, it's me, Fenner, from Frenetic Array, and it's time for a replay cast. Let's get straight into the game. Alright, there's a red Zerg over here, and um, this is actually high graphics now, so hopefully my PC can handle this. This is where we find out if my PC is good enough. Okay, so... Who's in the top right here? Honestly, I, have, I don't know which guy it is. But we'll find out real soon as I hover, hover my mouse around. This is the new intro. We do the super slow hover. Symbol from Team Azubu. Forgot for a second there. And he's going for the pool first. But before we worry about that, we'll go over here and look at this blue zerg in the other corner of Guangali Beach. And it is... Soul Key from Wunjing Stars. So these two guys, these guys are pretty good at the game, right? Um, Soul Key going for hatch, hatchery first here, picking up the gas as well. Going to get the spawning pool after that, so very, very greedy build, but it's also pretty much the best opener in ZBZ. You get that gas super early and it doesn't affect your economy because you've got the hatchery first as well. So this is like a really good build. So these two guys, like, Symbol. Let's talk about Symbol first. This guy's been around for quite a while. He was on TSL a long time ago. I think they disbanded like over a year ago now. So that was quite a while ago. And now he's on, what did I say? Azubu, yeah, Azubu. Um, but he came third, fourth at one GSL against Innovation. He lost 2-4. You can't blame him for losing to Innovation. And um, he also came second in another one against Roro in the finals. He came second in a home story cup. He came second in an MLG Spring Arena. He came second at an Iron Squid. So many seconds. And he's never actually won a bit a major tournament. Which is really sad because when you get that many seconds that's gotta be pretty painful. But Solky over here, he doesn't have that many achievements in tournaments. But the ones that he does have are pretty impressive. Um he came first in uh a GSL, a WCS Korea, and he beat Innovation in the finals 4-3, which is obviously really sick. Um, so, Symbol lost to Innovation, but Soul Key beat him, and he came third, fourth in another WCS season, losing to SOS in the semis, and he also came fourth in a WCG for Korea. So both of these players got some really nice achievements under their belts, and they're, they're within the top, set, top 10 Zerg players easily, I would say, so... Uh, definitely. I'm not going to go ahead and name them all because there's going to be a lot of bias from me. And actually, Symbol, he's got four queens right now. He didn't actually get gas. Sorry, guys. And I missed that as I was talking about other things. So he's going for four queen opener. This is, um, it's a pretty cool style. Gasless style. It's kind of gone out of style nowadays. This is a bit of an older replay, obviously, from WCS like two months ago or something. But um, this style allows you to get the creep out, allows you to go into a roach style nicely. Generally, you don't go into muta style from this because, uh, well, your gas is too late, your lair is going to be a bit late. And um, with the extra queens, they're great for defending against things like mutas. And the creep spread is always great for roaches. It allows them to move around a lot better and, and secure that third base. You can even take this base, but you got to kill the rocks first. Unit name, unbuildable, plates, destructible. Yeah, that's really nice there, uh, Mr. Mapmaker. So let's have a look what uh, our friend Solky over here is doing. He's got the lair going. He's picking up the extractors as well. So it looks like Solky is going to go for a bit of a mutilist play. This is kind of what everyone's doing again nowadays. Even with the spore crawler buff, people are going back to the good old muters because they're just so good. They give you the map control. Generally, there's little openings that you can find as well where you can just pick off drones, maybe pick off a building, pick off a queen. But like, it. No one's going to put spores like a spore there, a spore there, a spore there. There's always going to be drones coming across here as you try to drone up your third base, so there's always going to be little spots for muters to poke in if you're a really good player, especially like uh, like Soul Key here. As we said, he's already a good, as we said already, he's a good player. And uh, he's probably going to look to take the third base right around now just as he gets these lings out. Let's go, Soul Key. Obey me. Yes. Damn. Oh, Spine Crawler. I thought he was going to obey me. Instead, he doesn't obey me. I think he should. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this um, spread here from Symbol. He's got his overlords in a perfect line acro across the beach. He's got four queens out. And he's getting over uh, roach speed and roach attack. I think he's going to go for a roach queen push. 
Um, I, I would think that he'd get more queens right now, but he's there. I th maybe he's just going to go for a roach push without the queens, or just bring the two queens along. But these overlords, being in this perfect line like this along the beach, they're all going to poop creep. There we go. And he's going to just going to run across the map with these roaches, and I think the symbols, uh, Sulky's onto it. Because he hasn't taken a third base. He's just pumping a couple of lings. He's getting another spine crawler now. He's seen the poop in from these overlords, and he should know exactly what's going on as these roaches move across the map. These two queens are going to be in the mix as well. They've got a couple of transfuses on. I think th they'll have three transfuses by the time that their spine crawler even coming across the map. This map is perfect for this kind of play. Look how just straight the path is to the base, and now Soul Key is going to be getting a bit worried. We've got nine Mutalists on the way. Actually, they're going to be out in time. But how much damage can he do with the roaches before the mutalists kill him? Because the mutalists don't have the best DPS against the roaches. And two queens definitely not going to be able to deal with nine mutalists. They're going in on the queens now. He's going to transfuse that. But he gets pushed back. He's going to have to start working on these roaches if he wants to save his hatchery. A lot of spine crawlers going up. Five, six spine crawlers. They're coming up. They're just finishing now. And he's trying to push in. But I don't think he's going to be successful. It all depends on how many drone kills he can get here. Can he get a hatch? The mutalists are going to take a long time to kill him. He's going for the queen. He's going into the drone line. What can can he get done? How many drones can he kill? He's also at the front with a couple of roaches, but they're fighting the spine crawlers. The drones get run down to the natural, and now these roaches left in the main base, not doing too much. Uh, he's just going to keep rallying across the map. Can he, uh, Soul Key hold this? He's still got two spine crawlers up, so I think he's going to be pretty successful. The roaches in the natural trying to do damage to the drone line. Um, but the drone line in the main didn't lose too many. He lost about five or six drones in there, but Symbol is all in with this. He's behind the mineral line now, but the Mutalis count is going to keep getting bigger, and every roach rally that comes across the map is going to be weaker and weaker, and it looks like Symbol is going to abandon it. He throws down... Whoa, he did start a Hydrogen right there, but he just stopped it. Another Mutalis just pick everything off. Another Mutalis is going to get all of these Overlord kills. They're just lining up. It's like a Overlord barbecue with... No flames, and I don't know. Uh, it's not a barbecue at all. It's just mutas killing overlords, guys. <laughs> These aren't hellions. They're lining up, but they're not Hellions. These are just muters out for a bit of food. Just going to snack on the back of these overlords, stick their uh, skewers into them, and just chomp on them. And now the Queen's going to come out. These are probably going to push the uh, Mutalist back. In a couple of transfuses going down there. He needs another transfuse. This is a lot of Mutalists. Can he just plow through these Queens? He's committing pretty heavy to heavily to this. I'm not sure if that was the right idea from Soul Key. But now... He's not going to be able to push into this two base from uh, Symbol, but Symbol is going to have a very, very hard time securing himself a third base, and that's exactly why he's going to throw down this Nidus, and he's going to build a bunch of queens. As we saw, he did cancel Hydroden, so he's going to rely solely on queens for killing the muters. So he's, he's going to need quite a few more queens. I think he needs at least two more from each hatchery, so four total. Let's have a look how many mutalists are left out. We've got nine Mutalists left out. With a couple of transfuses, I guess five queens could do the job. But, you know, you're best to be safe and have like six, seven with transfuses. Going to move into this mineral line. This is what I was talking about. Even though there's two spore crawlers here in good positions, you can still pick off the gas right there. And there goes the Nidus over here. Sneaky in the corner there, on the corner of the street. That roach just uh, is going to be the traffic coordinator. He's going <laughs> to guide them all down this street. Don't want any crashes with these roaches, and there we go. There's the uh, Nidus going off, but these queens got a long way to walk if they want to get into the natural. They're just going to be able to take down this third. There's the cancel from Sulky. He knows exactly what's going on. He's seen everything with the Mutalisk, and now the roach push is coming in for Symbol. There's not many spine crawlers though. There's only two spine crawlers left, so if there's enough roaches here for Symbol, he can possibly do this. Let's have a look at the counts. Got 26 roaches for Symbol and 16 for Sulky. This is possible. Um, the Queen's actually getting picked off here, though, by the Mutalists. They're all kind of ungrouped. Oh, no, there goes a couple of transfuses down. And now there's an engagement at the front. S Symbol trying to break in, but he sees those spine crawlers, and he's going to have to back off. This game's getting pretty funky, guys. Both stuck on two base, both at 120 supply. I think Symbol has the better composition here. Ling's coming in, going to try and work on these Queens. This is a great move by Solky, but the Roaches come back, and the transfuse is going to keep most of the Queens alive. And now Symbol, uh, Soul Key is sat here on two base. I think that if Symbol wanted to right now, he could actually expand. He's also got more bank than Soul Key. So, I think Soul Key is in the worst situation right now. He's on the defensive. 
the, the way this goes well for him is if Symbol suicides into here, uh, but he might have enough to break through anyway, let's find out. No, he moves back, it's too tight, there's too many spine crawls. I want to see him go for an expansion. It looks like he just wants to go for it though, I don't think he's going to give up. He's got the upgrades as well. He's got 2-1 on his roaches, whereas Sulky is sad he would, he's going to have 1-1 one, one real soon in about 20 seconds. Um, there goes down the Nidus, the Mutal is still doing a nice job of keeping things under control. Man, this is a pretty uh, close game here. I think definitely Symbol should be expanding. He's kind of in the mindset right now that he's doing it all in. And when you're in that mindset, it's hard to think out of it. And now he's going to go in. He's going all the way. This is a lot of spine crawlers, though, for Sulky. And he's got a great concave on those roaches. Roaches on the top, spines on the top. It's, just, it's too much for Symbol to walk in. Oh, there's loads of uh, Overlord pickoffs for Sulky right now. This is beautiful. This is what I mean. There's always holes in in the play. It doesn't matter how many spore crawlers you get, how well you position them, there's always going to be gaps. And now the queens have to come back. The roaches are left out on the map on their own, and if Sulky realizes that, he can probably push out. He's got 40 roaches himself against the 40 of Symbol. And I have a feeling Symbol is not wanting to expand. He's just, oh, as I say that, sneaky Symbol. But um, Sulky probably saw that. Um, Nidus. Whoa, Sulky got Nidus, but we've got the engagement here. I think this is going to be the defining engagement of the game. Symbol trying to break through all these roaches. Uh, high ground sp uh, spine crawl is doing a lot, and the spine crawlers on the low ground are dead. The queens are doing a lot of damage as well, but the transfuse is helping out a lot. Queen for Sulky as well. Loads of roaches for Sulky. I think the concave is just too good for Sulky. Um, Symbol's trying to break through, but I don't know if he's got enough. The upgrades are good though, and I can't really see what's going on. 110 supply to 110. Uh, spine crawlers on the high ground doing so much work. Three Spine crawlers just whacking away the whole engagement, and now finally Symbol gets pushed back. The Nidus gets taken down. He's gonna lose all the units. There's no escape for Symbol. Sulky's pushing out, and now he needs to think about getting himself a third base. What Symbol should have done a long time ago. He's gonna pick up these muters. No, the muters are gonna win. All the queens go down. There's also roaches in the main base from this Nidus from Sulky. Great play by Sulky, and I think this might be the end for Symbol. This was a really interesting game, though, with Nidus from both players and just two bases. All game GG from Sulky. We've seen 14 14. Um, we should uh, see this is the problem with going to the main. You can't get to the natural, so you've got no idea if we take an expansion or not. At least for Al. Also, this overlord should be a lot further out. I like to send it to the third around this area.